Hey guys, welcome to Coding Simplified and now we'll solve another new problem in linked list. So basically we are given a linked list where each node have the one character and it says that let's say if you if you make out if you make a string out of this character then what is the longest palindrome length right so like in this case if you see I have one E V E so that is again palindrome right so where we have three but if you go further then again E V E V E that is again a palindrome right so we can say that the maximum length of palindrome is five right you can see the maximum palindrome length is five so the minimum minimum is a one where where each character is a each node is a palindrome right and then maximum cases we have the maximum length of linked list that can be a palindrome so we need to find out the length of longest palindrome list in a linked list right so we'll see what will be the logic after that we'll see what will be the code and then we'll see what will be the time complexity and space complexity to solve this problem right so let's start with the logic how we can solve this so let's say if I have this string and I need to check the longest palindromic length in this one right and guys if you remember uh, that how we can check whether a string is palindrome or not what we do we basically first of all go till the middle element and then we reverse the second half and then we check right so the same same concept we can apply here so what we will do we'll basically start from the uh, start from the this element and one by one we'll basically reverse from the starting and we will check that whether it is matching for the remaining elements or not right and at each step I will check with the previous and with including the current element so what I mean so let's say first of all I'm checking with this E so it means I I'm basically checking this E and this complete one so basically I am checking with this two thing right and in this case I can say that there are no common element in both the list so I can say my current common is zero now I will again go to, I will again go further and then I will basically check with the previous and with the next one so for each node I will check with the two thing so when I am at V I will check with the previous means this string and this list right so in the if I k if I check the common element so as such there are no common element and then I will check then I will check with including the current one as well so now I will check with the VE and the AVEE -E. so VE again the reverse manner it means I will basically reverse this so it means effectively this is like this one because anyhow there is no point if you are just checking this we need to reverse it so that we can actually identify that how many elements are matching so like in this case how many elements are matching if we start from the, this one so as such no elements are matching so again we have zero now we'll go further we at a now first of all I will check with the previous one and the next one so it means my string is V E and here my string is uh, V E and A right now I will check how many common elements are there so like I can see I have two common elements V and E so whatever the common elements are I will multiply by 2 plus 1 because basically we are adding the both list element so in this case I can say that my uh, my palindromic length is 5 so once I have checked with this one now I will check with including this element and by reversing it so now I have A V E and in another list I have V E and A and now check how many common elements are there common elements are there starting from the head node right so like in this case I have common elements is 0 so still my length is 5 right now again I will go at this position and I will check with the previous one and with the next one so it means I have this E V A and then I am comparing with E and A so in this case only one elements are common right and sorry so basically uh, that we need to that we are basically comparing with the reversing one so it means uh, I have list A V E and here I have comparing E and A so in this case also no matching that's it now I will include this V and then I will check so include this V means I am basically adding the V here again no elements are matching so that's it now I will compare with this one with E so it means my string is V A V E and I am comparing with A 
so again no elements are matching now i will include e as well in this one so if i include this one e means uh, if i include this one it means i am checking with this one again no elements are matching so that's it right so if we found out that at last at last this is the string this is a string that is the longest palindromic length right so we can say that our longest palindromic length is 5 and we can see from here as well that this is the longest palindromic length right and let's say if we have the even even list so even list means let's say i have this e then v then v and e and let's say if i have this a also now in this case what will happen that first of all i will compare uh, i will compare with this e and this one so no elements are matching then i will compare with this e so first of all i will compare this e and ev in this also no matching but when i will compare including this one ve and vea it means effectively i am comparing this v e and a so in this case two are matching right so i can say simply two into two which is four right so my palindromic length is four right so this is how i can compare so that is the reason that whenever i compare any node one i will compare with the previous one and the next one so it will help me in the case of odd if the palindromic length is odd and when and another case i also compare the including the current element and the next one which will help me to identify if my palindromic length is e1 right and i take the maximum element maximum length out of those out of both now let's talk about the time complexity so once what we are doing that we are starting from the each node and we and at each step we are basically uh, reversing it and then we are going till the end right so that step will take big of n right but what we are doing for each step we are basically checking that whether whether it has a common element with other list or not right so when you are here you are checking with this one that this list and this list are having common element so at each step we are basically matching the common elements right it means we are matching the n elements so at each at each step we are doing in big of n and overall we are doing big of n so it means the overall time complexity will be big of n square right so that will be my time complexity now if you talk about the space complexity so space complexity as such we are not taking any space because in reverse also we are not taking space and to find out the common element also we are not taking any space so we can say it is a constant so this will be big of one right so this is how uh, we can uh, we can solve this problem and now i will show you through code so whatever i have explained i will show you through code so that you can uh, get it better understanding so this is my main function let me explain you so uh, what i'm checking that if node is null it means uh, i have null list so in this case i can simply return that there is no such palindromic length so return zero and if there is only single node so in this case i can say that i have one palindromic length right else i am taking three variable as we as as i also take in reverse basically we need to reverse here right when we are iterating the list so that is why i have previous and next at the starting both are pointing to null and then result is one because as we know that the maximum the minimum palindromic length can we have one if we have at least single node because each node itself is a palindromic length of uh, length one so that is why i am starting result equal to one and then i am iterating the uh, until node is not null and at each step i basically i am basically reversing that node so that is why first of all i am storing the uh, node of next into next and then i am saying node of next to previous right and then this is the main thing where i am doing that at each step first of all i am checking i am basically finding out the common elements with the previous one and the next one right so in this case it will find out how many common elements are there in the previous and next list and whatever the common list is multiply with two and then add one because i need to include the current node as well right so this is the case when i when i have odd palindromic length but let's say if i can have the even palindromic length so for that what i'm doing include the current node as well include the current node and check with the next one and whatever the result of this common element multiply it with the two right and as you can understand what why i am multiplying with two because i need to consider the both list element 
because it will give me only the common element so i need to multiply it with by 2 and then again this is the reversal step that basically i am again initializing previous with the node and node with the next one right so this is how when we will reach till the end it will have the or it will have the longest palindromic length result stored in this result section and at the last i can simply return result right and then how i can find out the common elements in both the strings so for that i have this function get common element count when i'm passing the node 1 and node 2 list and it's at the starting my count is 0 now i'm checking if both the data are matching then increase the count else break so whenever whenever the data is not matching i will simply break and whatever the count is i will simply return that count right so this is how this is how i will calculate the longest palindromic length in a string now uh, I, let me also explain you through some of the cases so that you can understand it better so here what will happen that it will at each iteration it will check that what is the common element so like at the starting my result is one because this is a default one now in the second one again it will check so again my result is one but when i have the next case so here i will find so in this case you can see i have my result as five right and the second also because there were zero element so right so this is a case where i have this v and a and a v and a are matching right so this is how it will uh, iterate and when it will reach till the end then it will simply return the node the result right so if you run the program you can see that it is returning five but let's say if i have this e v a and here also i have a v and e so in this case if you run the program you can see that it is returning it is printing the six right so uh, that's it guys about this video and also uh, i will put the source code of this in, in the description so i'll put the source code link so you can copy from there and then you can you, you can iterate this you can execute this program with different examples and you can check that how it is working right so that's it guys about this video if you have any doubt regarding this problem please write in the comment section and i will try to explain that and if you think that there is any another approach please also mention in the comment section so that we'll be aware about it so that's it guys and if you have liked the video please like it and subscribe the channel for more such videos thank you